U.S. manufacturing technology orders are down relative to 2014 by almost 20 percent. And they look like the beginning of 2016 is going to be soft as well. So when is it going to get better? Listen in, we'll tell you. September relative to August was up 11 percent, which is great. We can, it means we kind of came out of the, the summer doldrums like we usually do. But when you compare it to what's going on year on year, uh, we didn't do as well. We're down 17 percent. Uh, but you put that in perspective, September of 2014 was one of the top three months we've ever had in the U.S. Manufacturing Technology Orders Program. It was like $600 million and reflected the, the success of IMTS 2014. Uh, as we go out through the rest of uh, 2015, we'll, we'll make up a little ground on that, but not much. Last year, about this time, we forecasted that 15 would be about down about 5% from 14. And as we sit here looking out over the next three months of orders, it's probably going to come in closer to 17 or 18% down relative to 2014. Uh, question is, how long are we going to be in a downturn? Uh, it's going to be a little bit soft going out to, into the beginning of 2016, but everything I hear with respect to quotations, uh, with respect to profitability of some of our key customer bases, uh, and with the, the absorption of the challenges we faced in certain specific downturning industries like energy, it seems like that will all come to rest sometime towards the middle to end of the third quarter of 2016, setting us up for a very nice fall in 2016. And the analysts we saw at the forecasting conference last, last month in October in Cleveland suggested to us that we are going to have a fairly strong uh, 17 and 18 and really no signs of, of a significant downturn in manufacturing as a whole until sometime in the latter part of 18 or 19. So why are we expecting the, the uh, latter part of 2016 to pick up and be a little bit better than what we were facing today? Well, we still have some key customer industries that are extremely strong today and will continue to get stronger as we go into 2016. Top of the list is the auto industry. They've got so many different models that are coming out in the uh, next three to four years. And each of those models are going to have fairly short production runs. And the shorter production runs means that the, all the special pieces, the, the dyes and molds for the brake uh, lights, the uh, front ends, the changing panels to change the shapes of cars slightly over the course of the next three to four years, that's all going to require new capital investments in products and in manufacturing technology to produce them. So we're seeing auto industry being really strong for the next three to four years. Right behind that, the aerospace industry. Our expert in the uh, aerospace industry said he expects the, uh, the aerospace industry with its backlogs that, where they currently are to be strong well out for the next three to four years as well. Uh, then right behind that, we've got medical equipment. It's had a lull in uh, 14 and the beginning of 15, but it's beginning to pick up here at the end of 15. It looks like it's be the one of the few industries that will be stronger in the first half of 16 uh, than in the first half of 15, and will continue to be strong well into the next, ne next decade, uh, having to do with the uh, demographics, the fact that the baby boomers are getting to that point where they're going to see more and more special pieces of metal put into their body so they can enjoy life for a longer period of time. Uh, when we take a look at the numbers for September this month, there was some strength and so we, you know, we want to take the pauses away from that. In New England, uh, aerospace components, mainly for engines, uh, helped drive their order base up by about 20 to 40 percent. And you take a look at what's happening in the southeast, Amazing. Uh, just in the last three months, you've had $1.6 billion of new investment, new plants in the, in the south, southeast of the United States. It's, what's driving that? Primarily the auto industry. You've got companies like uh, Volvo that are putting a brand new plant in. Honda is uh, shutting down plants in the Midwest and opening up plants nearly twice the size in the, in the uh, Carolinas. And then um, you've got Fiat. It doesn't have a facility in the, in the United States at the moment, but it's going to be opening a, uh, a manufacturing and assembly plant in the south, southeast as well. So the auto industry is going to help uh, bring up the investment in that particular area, just as aerospace has been doing in that particular part of the U.S. for the last uh, three to four years, is uh, helping create one of the strongest industrial bases, almost uh, beginning to be uh, as strong a base as the Great Lakes for uh, manufacturing technology orders. Still, 
as we said before, uh, we, while we we're projecting a decline of 5% for 2015 about this time last year, uh, and we're expecting that to be more like 17 to 18 uh, when we finish up the year, uh, we, we can you know, take some solace that that's going to be a short-lived uh, downturn in manufacturing technology orders. Uh, as we have some, still have some fairly positive uh, economic indicators. Uh, you see the PMI is still above the 50 uh, line, 50 index line, which means uh, manufacturing continue to expand, although at a slower rate. You have the foreign trade numbers coming in, and our balance of trade has actually improved over the course of the last two months. Uh, and then um, I think one of the most important things, we've got Congress to finally pass a budget that's going to take us through the election out in uh, 2016 uh, and into 2017. So two years of uh, stability. It'd be great if there's some way we could apply this to either the tax extenders or a new corporate tax rate. If we could generate with our Congress uh, the ability to have tax extenders be uh, something that manufacturers and our customers could rely on over the course of the next two years, it would really be a boon to uh, the order levels and might soften or improve significantly the beginning of 2016's order bookings for manufacturing technology. But that can only be done if we can get our constituents, that means you, to touch uh, your congressmen and senators to make it a reality. So we encourage you, please reach out to them, talk to them about the importance of this factor in the business sector and uh, get them to, get, get to uh, kind of produce the same type of unison uh, collaboration that created the budget bill we currently have to do that for tax extenders, tax extenders as well. Uh, get us two years, solid, stability, something we can count on. Uh, with that, uh, we'll see you next month, talk about USMT orders for October. This is Pat McGibbon with AMT saying we'll see you next month.